morning everyone welcome to a weekend video and if you clicked on this you probably can work out what this video is going to be all about now it's a long time since i've done a park run and the park run that i'm gonna do is over by the victoria dock which is right next to the marathon expo so i'd imagine that this morning it's going to be pretty busy Now, I don't often do park run, and you may be wondering why I've decided to do this today. Well, it's not just because it's marathon weekend, no. I'm trying to get an idea of where my 5k fitness is. Um, to be honest, my tri season's really close upon me, and there's a lot of shorter racing this year, so I kind of want to get a gauge of where it is. It's just going to help me during my races I think just to manage my effort and that kind of thing so that's the main purpose of today is just to work out where that is now whether I'll be able to run quick today I don't know and particularly because it might be hard to run quick with so many people over there so we don't know we will see so Victoria Park Run is regarded as probably the fastest park run you can do now it does depend over there because it's right next to the dock on the conditions and today morning looks nice actually it's perfect running conditions I think but if it is windy over by the dock there is no chance because the wind just whips up um, and the headwind over there I run on, running it on Tuesday over there and it's just it's impossible so I'm just taking a slow walk I'm gonna run some of this over to the venue just to give a bit of a warm-up warm the legs through can't do any harm can it but I've got to say this, I don't particularly like running 5Ks. They're just a hard effort. I never know how to judge them. I always go off too hard and blow up. And I'm going to make a commitment the next couple of months that I'm going to try and run these at least probably once a month to start helping me gauge how to approach these, particularly as I think it will be helpful, like I said, in my triathlons. All right, I'm coming to a busy road. I'm going to stop filming because it's not going to be very nice. I'm going to do a bit of a run, get over there. So my friends, that is exactly what you want to see on the dock. The water still is anything, which means no wind. quite busy 20 minutes left to go uh, I'm not sure I'm gonna film much to be honest with you because I'm gonna put the camera away because I can't when it's this busy no way am I gonna be able to film run and concentrate on not falling over so I'll see what I can gather for you <laughs> It was so busy. It was too hard really to run um, really quick because it's just you're dodging people ah, left, right and centre, especially for that first sort of four or five hundred metres. Um, 2015 I think I came in at, which is, I was hoping I'd dip under 20 minutes today, but it's just too busy. But um, yeah, it gives me a bit of a benchmark, I suppose. I might go back again in a couple of weeks and run it again. Um, but overall, fairly happy with that considering where we are in the season um, it gives me a bit of an indication now for my uh, sprint tries and how to approach them pace wise but yeah it was a good run um, nice to see it really that busy for a bit marathon runners as I said um, but yeah I don't know I might check the expo out I might, might buy the XL now it's just over there and see what I'm doing for time so 
GoPro now. Just did a nice easy cool down trot from the Marathon Expo. And the Expo was okay, you know, if you've been to one Expo, you've been to them all, they're pretty much the same. Just lots of sellers uh, with their stalls and stands, you know, giving you tasters of products and getting you interested in what they've got to sell and that kind of thing. So yeah, it was okay. Um, if you're running the London Marathon tomorrow and you're watching this, I just want to say a massive good luck. Actually, this video will go live tomorrow, so it'll be after that marathon. So probably better me saying I hope it actually went well for you. And yeah, all the training, the build up and all that sort of thing paid off and you had a good race. And most of all, you enjoyed it. It is a fantastic experience. I did it a couple of years ago. It's something I would definitely do again. Um, so yeah, I hope it all went well for you guys running that marathon. Um, thinking about my run this morning, reflecting on that, yeah, I'm 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 okay with with that time, 2015. I know I'm certainly 50. I'm so, I'm certainly fit enough to go under uh, 20 minutes. It was just too busy. I was dodging people left, right, and centre, nipping in here. You know, for the first four or five hundred meters at least. But anyway, I'm gonna go back there probably in two weeks' time because next week I'm racing, uh, and then we we'll hopefully should get a more accurate baseline. Uh, that's me pretty much this weekend. I've got uh, another session to do later on on the bike now in 20 minutes and then tomorrow is a brick workout so I've got a long ride followed by a short run and that will be the weekend. I am going to try and uh, keep you keep the videos flowing. I'm not exactly sure on the quality and how long they're going to be. They're probably going to be a bit shorter because with work and this time of year for me it's, it's the most busiest time and, and I don't know how much effort I can put into all the videos, but I am gonna make the effort in getting them out to you. They just might be a little bit more raw in the production. So stay tuned guys, hope you've enjoyed this one and I will see you again next week.